Hey everyone, welcome back to Beauty Beyond 40. Today's video is super exciting. It's a video you've been asking me for for months and months. Finally, my demo of the Lima Laser. If you're new here, hi, my name's Trina. I'm 48 years old, I just turned 48. I make videos about beauty devices, mostly in some skincare. So if you're interested in these topics, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. I'm also on TikTok and Instagram where I post sneak peeks of the new devices I'm testing and a lot more content. I also have a private Facebook group all about beauty devices that has almost 28,000 members. I will leave links to all of this down in the description in case you're interested. Thank you to everyone who voted on my poll that I posted in that private Facebook group. I asked you, which device did you want me to post about next on my YouTube channel? And the winner was the Lima Laser. I always wanna make the videos that you wanna watch the most, so thank you if you voted. I also wanna take a minute to just thank everyone in this amazing community because the reason I have this laser is because of you. I had been posting about it a little bit on social media, not that I had it, but just when there was a deal coming up around Black Friday, for example, I listed on my website because I know it's so popular. And over the past few months, I can see so many of you have been purchasing this laser through my affiliate link, through my website link. I had reached out to them a long time ago when the laser first launched and they didn't get back to me. I kept seeing all these sales come through my affiliate link. So I reached out to the Lima team and I said, hey, can you check out this report? so many people are interested in this laser in my community and I haven't even tried it, I don't have it. And I think it would be great if I could get the laser and test it out and post a demo, post my review, and I think I'll be able to drive even more sales or get more people interested and excited about this laser. And they wrote back and agreed. And I can understand why they didn't wanna send it to me. It is almost 3,000 US dollars. I have the actual price right here. It's 2,695 US dollars. So it's a very expensive laser and I had to really justify to them why I wanted to test the laser. So the reason I have it is because of you, because of all of your support. So I thank you so much. Every time you purchase any device through my site or through any of my social referral links, I do earn a small commission, which helps me to keep creating content. So I thank you so much. This video is not sponsored, although the laser was gifted to me. So this video is not sponsored. I will be doing a minimum eight week test of this laser. They say it takes about 12 weeks to start seeing results. So I'm committed to eight to 12 weeks based on when I start to see results. So that video will not be sponsored either. Even if it was sponsored, all opinions are always my own. So I'm really excited that I'm about to start my test of this laser. As you know, if you follow me on social media, I just wrapped up my eight week test of my tripolar NVIG Edge. That is a fractional radio frequency device. I love that device. It was a really long time for me to test test it eight weeks and so many of you have been asking me for an update so I will be filming that next but I wanted to go ahead and quickly get the demo out of the Lima laser since so many of you have been asking for it and it is going to take me a while to get my before and after photos together for that NVIG edge and pull together all the information for that video so that will be coming next but in the meantime I'm doing a demo for you of this laser and I'm going to tell you all about it and I will be starting my eight to 12 week test of this laser immediately. I always am trying to isolate results of new devices I test. As I'm done testing the tripolar and big edge in the upfront eight week test, I will bump down to maintenance mode where I will be using it a couple times a week, maybe two to three times a week, just to maintain my results. Just as I do with all my other devices, I'm in maintenance mode for microcurrent, for LED, for my neural laser and radio frequency. I'm using those devices just as needed to maintain my results. And then I'll be tracking the additional new results I see from this laser. So I'm always trying to isolate results of a new modality I'm testing. So for example, I've been testing that NVIG Edge for eight weeks. I haven't been doing any other radio frequency device. While I'm testing this laser, I won't be doing any other laser where I'm using this. The only modality that I'm not quite sure about is the Nero laser. I use that for my hooded eyes and I'm wondering if I should test this laser. Maybe what I'll do is Nira on one eye and the Lima laser on the other eye and see if we can see a difference. Let me know what you think. Let me know in the comments because I'm always trying to isolate results. But if I find something that works better than a modality that I'm already using, 
I want to use that instead. I've already told you about the price, 2,695 US dollars. That is very pricey. They do have a monthly payment plan and the price includes express shipping, duty, and all taxes. And when I got the device, it came with the facial mist and the glide serum. I think that if you order it, it will come with that as well. It comes with a beautiful box full of instructions and more information. And it has this cleaning cloth. It has this storage and carrying case, which is really nice so you don't damage your laser while you're not using it. So I met with the Lima concierge team and I had a list of questions to ask them. I reviewed everything on the website and then I came with all of my questions. I tried to ask them the questions that you would want to know. And I think I've addressed pretty much everything in this video, but if I haven't, or you still have more questions, let me know down in the comments because I can ask the concierge for the answer. It's a pretty heavy laser. You turn it on and off via this button on the back here. and you unscrew this side here and there's a rechargeable battery inside and then it fits into this battery charger that you just plug in via USB and charge it up. You are supposed to use it for quite a long time every single day so they do recommend keeping it charged pretty regularly. I think they said some people charge it every night just to make sure it doesn't stop while you're using it during a session. This laser is 100 times more powerful than LED devices. They say that it is the most powerful at-home laser on the market. It is also the world's only clinical grade laser that is FDA cleared for at-home use. So how is it different from other devices? This laser is a cold laser, so there's no heat. And I know a lot of you are concerned about heat. I have been really concerned about heat lately because some of my melasma patches came back on my jowls recently from using the Nebulift in a six week daily test right here. So that was really upsetting. I've stopped using the Nebulift. I've been really careful about using heat in any devices lately because my melasma is so, so sensitive and it flares up so easily. So I love that this is a cold laser. You do feel a little bit of heat just from the friction of moving it across your face while you're using it, but the laser itself has no heat. The Lima laser uses low level laser therapy or near infrared laser light. One of the questions that I got on social media when I posted about this is the red LED light indicator here. That is just the indicator light that it's on. And in the US it's red, in the UK it's blue. So although the blue in the UK will offer antibacterial anti-acne capabilities and the red in the US will offer anti-aging benefits of red LED light, since this laser is 100 times more powerful than LED devices, that indicator light is really not the reason you get this laser. So I feel like it's an added benefit perhaps. I wouldn't think of this as an LED device. And I think that that's just an indicator light to tell you that it's on or off. The fact that it's made with LED light is an added benefit. And the reason why it's red in the US is because during the FDA clearance process, the FDA asked them to make it red. I'm not sure why. So if you get it in the UK, it will be blue. If you get it in the US, it will be red. The laser is exactly the same. There is no color to the laser. This is just the indicator to let you know it's on or off. Don't worry, this is not an LED device. So don't be worried about what color you're gonna get because the laser is what you want. That's what you're paying for. And the color of the indicator doesn't matter. I got all the specs right here and I wanna make sure I say it right. So the light is extremely powerful, able to penetrate deep beneath the skin, completely safely and effectively. It operates at 500 megawatts at the 808 nanometers wavelength. The laser light beam recharges the cells or wakes up the cells, positively impacting the mitochondria. The laser can reach not only the deepest layers of the skin, but also the fat and muscle tissues underneath. But don't worry, I asked, it does not cause facial fat loss. I know that so many of you will be thinking about that immediately when I said that it reaches the fat and muscle tissue underneath. It reaches it, but it rejuvenates it and recharges it. It doesn't cause facial fat loss. The Lima laser reverses aging by reaching deep down into the base layer of the dermis where the light energy triggers a genetic switch inside the skin cells, telling them not to die off, but to recharge, regenerate, and repair. The destruction of healthy skin cells is reversed. The light energy of the Lima laser also instructs the existing cells to produce more proteins to fight free radicals. Fewer free radicals 
means more collagen and elastin, and that's what we all want, right? It is anti-aging, it helps to smooth out wrinkles, it helps with skin elasticity, skin texture, skin tone, sun damaged skin, rosacea, scarring, including acne scars, pigmentation and sagging, and it gives you a short-term glow and boosts collagen production. And in addition to that list, it also helps with spider veins and cellulite. And not only can you use it on your face and neck, but I'll also be testing it on the back of my hands. And some people on the website have before and after photos of using it on their knees. So there's a lot of promising ways to use this laser. They say you can use it all over your body, except for near your heart. So I'm gonna use it on my neck, but not on my chest. They say to not use it on any breast scars or anywhere around the heart. So I'll just be using it on the neck, you could take it down maybe to the collarbone, but I'm not gonna use it on my chest because the concierge said not to use it near the heart. I will make sure to double check that. And the laser is completely safe to use even around the eye area, so you don't need to wear any goggles. Also in my manual, I did see a list of contraindications. It was a very short list, but there are some contraindications. Before you spend almost $3,000 on a laser, you wanna make sure it's gonna work for you. And I also always recommend when you're shopping to check the warranty, the return policy, Policy, the shipping, all of that stuff, just to make sure you're comfortable before you place an order like this because it is very expensive. Yes, the laser is FDA cleared, cleared in the US, it's cleared in Canada, it's CE certified for Europe, so they have all the certifications. There are not any clinicals or clinical trials for this laser itself, but there are clinicals for low level laser therapy. And if you go to the website, they have some pretty incredible before and after photos that you can slide back and forth to see results from actual users of very various ages and various uses of the laser. I encourage you to go look at those on the site. This laser does take about 12 weeks of daily use to start seeing results and we all know that new collagen production takes a while to come to the surface of the skin. So this one is 12 weeks. So I'm gonna do a minimum of eight week test to see if I can see results, but I'll keep going to 12 if I need to. It is a time commitment. And like I say on my channel, these devices do work, but they require consistency and you have to keep using them. Be ready for a long-term commitment to see results from this laser and you have to use it every day. What they recommended to me is that I should use it 30 minutes every day on my face. So 15 minutes on this side, 15 minutes on the other side, 15 minutes per hand, so that's another 30 minutes, and then 15 minutes on my neck. So that is, wow, that's a long time. That's an hour and 15 minutes a day, wow. That is a lot of time. But on your spider veins, you're supposed to hold it on your spider vein for 10 minutes a day. So that's really cool. If you wanna treat spider veins, it will be a shorter time period. But there are two methods of using this laser. You can either do the glide method or you can do the hold method. In my demo, you'll see I do the glide method all across one side of my face, and then I actually do the hold method of three minutes per area that I want to treat with more intensity. So I do three minutes on my jowls, three minutes on my lips to plump up my lips, three minutes on my crow's feet, three minutes on my 11s, three minutes on this expression line on my forehead, and three minutes on my hood to lift up my hooded eye. So I am doing more spot treatments, so I'm gonna be doing a mixture. What I'm gonna do is set the timer for 15 minutes and work one side of my face with the glide method, and then I'll start that for a few minutes and then start working on the hold method of three minutes on the specific areas that I wanna treat. They say you can use it for longer, but don't go beyond one hour per treatment area. So you actually could do it for one hour on your face and one hour on your neck and one hour on your hands, but I don't have time for that. That would take so long. So this is gonna be tricky for me because if I do what they recommend, it'll be an hour and 15 minutes a day, and that's just so much time. So what I might end up doing, for example, 15 minutes of glide across my face, including a few holds like on my jowls, and then 15 minutes on this side of my face, including three minutes on my jowls and my lips, and then on my hands, my hands are looking so much better from the Envig Edge. So what I'll probably end up doing is just doing a three minute hold on each of my spot areas because those are still like super stubborn. Here, I'll show you. You can see them, my, the spots on my hands. More so on this hand. And on this hand, I have spots like here by my thumb. 
So I'll probably just spend three minutes on each of those spot sections on my hands because I don't have an hour and 15 minutes. I just don't think I'm gonna be able to do that. So I'm gonna use the laser as much as I can and I'm sure that I'm gonna miss a day here and there because it's just really aggressive to do an hour and 15 minutes a day, especially since I'm using all these other devices. So I will be very realistic with you and I will report back the reality of how I was using the laser and how it's going along the way. But just wanted to set expectations and 12 weeks. They're saying I have to do that for 12 weeks. So that's really long. I'll start with eight weeks. I'll see how it goes. Before I get to the demo, I just wanna make sure there's nothing else that I need to go over with you. The laser is totally safe. It's not painful at all. It actually doesn't feel like anything when I'm using it. It doesn't have any risk of pain, burning, or redness. And you can use it on all skin tones. It says that darker skin tones contain more pigment, which when used with traditional laser treatments can cause burning and scarring more easily. But because this is low level laser, it does not damage the skin in any way. Instead, it regenerates skin naturally, is completely painless, and has no post-treatment discomfort or redness. I did the demo before I'm filming this portion of the video, before I put my makeup on, and this is how my skin looks. Like, it was so easy. There was no downtime. It didn't hurt at all. I really love it so far just because how easy it is. You do have to use some skincare with it. You start with clean, dry skin, and you use a facial mist, and then you use a serum, and then I use Futurna Skin facial oil because I love it so much, but you could use any facial oil or you can use a moisturizer. Really, you're just trying to make sure that you provide slip for the laser and because it's not conducting anything, you can use oil. So you can use serums, moisturizers, oils, anything you want. So that's really cool that you don't have to worry about the product being non-oil based because I know that's a big concern for microcurrent. You can use it over makeup and SPF if you want to just do the hold method. So that's great because I could just grab it and hold it in certain areas of my face for three minutes each if I'm running low on time and I don't have time to take my makeup off and put on all of the, the skincare, the serum and the mist and the oil. So that's actually really great. They recommend that you use it on clean dry skin with the skincare, but if you just want to grab it and do the hold method for three minutes, around your face. That's what I'm gonna do to keep up with my routine and to keep up with my test. I think that's really great because I think that's a more realistic approach. I'm not gonna do that a lot, but I'm gonna do it when I need to, when I'm really busy and I just don't have a long period of time to use the laser. To take care of the laser, you just wipe it down with this cleaning cloth they provided or you can use alcohol wipes. I have these little alcohol pads that I use. I get them on Amazon. I can link to those down in the description if you're interested, I love them. I use them for all my devices actually because they're so easy. They're not overly saturated and they're easy to travel because they're just these little packets that I throw in to my bags everywhere I go when I'm traveling with my devices, so they're great. So you use it daily for the first 12 weeks and then you can drop into maintenance mode and use it two to three times a week. So I am gonna do my best to use it every single day for as long as I can for the first 12 weeks and then I will be dropping into maintenance mode, which I can't wait because that's more realistic to use it two to three times a week. And maintenance can be whenever you see desired results. So if I see desired results before 12 weeks, I will definitely drop down to maintenance mode doesn't have to be exactly 12 weeks, could be less, could actually be more. So if you're not starting to see the results that you were after, you can use it for longer or you can increase the session time. Remember, you can use it up to one hour per treatment area. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to Lima Laser about your specific treatment time, your treatment areas. They could help work with you to put together a treatment plan for the first 12 weeks because I'm pretty sure everybody's different. And on the website, when you look at the before and after photos, you can see that everyone had a little bit of a different treatment plan. So I think that would be a good idea if you wanna get help getting started. On clean, dry skin, I apply some of the facial mist and then just a few pumps of the Glide Serum. And then after that, I put on some of my Fortuna facial oil. You can use any facial oil or any moisturizer just to help provide slip as you glide the laser across your face. Now I set the timer for 15 minutes per treatment area. So I'm doing 15 minutes on this side of my face. And the trick is to glide really slowly. And I love to have the timer to keep me on pace. It's really hard for me to actually go really slow. I found that quite challenging. I'm moving in sections slowly up my face. Then I get to the under eye. Then I do above my eye. Then I move on to the forehead area and finish around the mouth area. Then I move to the three minute holds. I do the jowls, 
I do my crow's feet, my hooded eyes, my 11s, and I move to an expression line on my forehead and I follow with my lips. Then I move to the other side of my face and slowly glide, starting at the bottom of my face and then working my way up the cheeks and then doing under the eye and then above the eye. And then again, I move to the forehead area and then I finish the glides around the mouth area. And then I do three minute holds on my jowls, my crow's feet, my hoods. And then I move on to my neck and I am only doing the sides of my neck just because I'm really conservative. I'm really careful around my neck area. So I just do some glides on either side of my neck and then I do my jawline as well since I'm there. And then I do a three minute hold on my turkey neck. And then I'm moving on to my hands. I apply all the skincare and I'm gliding the laser across the tops of my hands here. And I'm probably gonna just do those three minute holds on each of the spots on my hands moving forward. So that is the end of my demo. Thank you so much for watching today. I'm so excited that I was able to finally make this video for you. And I am so looking forward to my initial eight week test of using this laser. Make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss that update video and all of the other videos that I have planned for you. That's it for today and I will see you in the next video. Bye.